Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Week two of the Modern Warfare 2 beta is coming up here uh, starting on the 22nd, and it is going to include uh, a bunch of new changes when it comes to the core gameplay. We're going to see new things to utilize across the board. Obviously, this is opening up for uh, Xbox and PC as well. PlayStation is also going to continue to have access for this. And so today we're going over essentially the new beta update for MW2 multiplayer. So like I said, it initially kicks off on the 22nd for weekend two. And if you're a PlayStation player starting on the 22nd, it's an open beta yet again. You do not have to have pre-ordered the game to play. As long as you have it downloaded, you can jump back on on the 22nd and play it all the way through the 26th. However, on the 22nd, if you are on Xbox or PC, you do have to have an early access code. You had to have pre-ordered or gotten a code elsewhere, either off of like giveaways or, you know, watching COD champs, whatever the case may be. But the 22nd and the 23rd is that early access time period. And then starting on the 24th, the 25th, and then the morning of the 26th is basically when it concludes. All that time is the open beta for all platforms. So anyone on Xbox, PC, or PlayStation is gonna be able to play for free from the 24th to the morning of the 26th. So obviously the player base expanding quite a bit. Uh, Xbox and PC players, this will be the first time they've gained access to MW2 MP. For PlayStation players, all your progress will in fact carry over from weekend one into weekend two. So you don't have to restart anything uh, there. Now, of course, being that this is a new weekend, the first main thing and main change that we're going to see is the level cap increase. So the level cap for weekend one was obviously rank 15, and that's the highest you could go. So everyone on PlayStation who reached that, they're going to have that 15 level advantage uh, going into weekend two, whereas obviously Xbox and uh, PC players are going to have to start at rank one. But this means you can now earn all of the beta rewards. So new for this weekend is going to be the collision operator skin, which you end up getting at level 18. You also get a vinyl. It's called No Competition at level 19. Still not exactly clear what vinyls are. Some players are saying maybe they're custom vehicle stickers or skins. That would make a lot of sense. We are going to have to wait and see, though. Uh, we also have the Safety First sticker at level 21. We've got the Florid Vehicle skin at level 26. And we also have the Frontal Impact blueprint at level 30 which is a new blueprint for i believe the scar variant that's going to be available in the game uh so we get some brand new rewards there and these rewards are actually instantly available in the beta itself which gives us even more information on some of the other upcoming content that this beta update is going to include Obviously, with the Frontal Impact Blueprint, uh, that's on a weapon that is currently not available. That's not an M4, uh, you know, family tree variant there. Like I said, I believe it's for the Scar. So uh, that's going to be a new accessible weapon to use in the beta itself. Of course, all the weapons that we saw throughout Weekend 1 are still going to be available. But now, because we can increase that level cap and level up a little bit more, more and more weapons are going to be uh, fully unlockable and customizable including the mp5 for real this time hopefully alongside the other lockman variants as well we should get access to the other locked guns that are already on the gunsmith menu too so we should be able to experiment around a little bit more with those see if maybe those are a bit better performing than some of the m4 variants that we've seen so far things like the mp5 since we've been able to mess around with that a little bit thanks to the overkill glitch uh just a good time though in general to experiment around with some guns level some up see what works and of course test out the gunsmith and all the new features available for that another thing that we end up seeing via this reward menu that gives us more details is that vehicle skin the floor it one at level 26 that appears to be for some kind of tank vehicle which i believe is only available in the ground war mode so this should in theory indicate that ground war is going to be debuting as a brand new mode in the beta of course the creators at call of duty next were able to play this in their beta build so hopefully it's the same for us this time around uh prior to the beta going live you know some months ago when they were talking about what to expect they did mention that the beta was going to go beyond just standard 6v6 gameplay so that should indicate that ground war is in fact going to be playable uh for weekend two personally i gotta say that's probably the mode that i'm most excited for uh to try out here in modern warfare 2 multiplayer back during mw 2019 ground war was my absolute favorite i just for one i love the bigger maps i love the hectic gameplay with obviously the much larger player count it's just like chaos non-stop right and i love that that's where i thrive right so i'm very excited to try out ground war and see how that plays 
Also, by the way, as we are going through all this today, if you guys want to stay up to date with literally everything going on in COD, news, updates, tips, class setups, you name it, you're going to find it right here every single day. So be sure to subscribe with those noties turned on if you have not already. Around 10,000 to 12,000 new viewers every single day are checking out the channel for the first time. So pretty neat stuff there. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping a like on it would be seriously appreciated. Anyway, we should see the playlist expand to Ground War as mentioned. I imagine that we're going to see sort of a continuation of some of the modes that we had during Weekend 1. TDM, Domination, uh, Knockout, Search and Destroy, etc. will probably be available on different days. They've been sort of rotating the playlists and also the maps depending on the day. Uh, some of the maps that we had available in Weekend 1 obviously are going to continue on into Weekend 2. But, you know, with things like Ground War, obviously we're going to have some expansions to the map list there as well. Another mode that I'd be curious to see if it does debut in weekend two is uh is hard point because it was only available in weekend one during the third person mode mosh pit which is a little bit uh you know restrictive not everyone wants to play that third person mode it wasn't ever available in just the standard 6v6 first person mode so perhaps we'll see that cycled into uh, into the rotation as well that'd be pretty fun you know nice little change of pace from tdm and domination which is the core of the respawn modes that we got to play during the first initial weekend now real quick before we jump into any potential gameplay changes coming with weekend two just want to remind you guys that if you are ever looking to cop a pair of gamer advantage glasses code immortal has it covered at checkout if you are looking at screens for long periods of time whether it's at school at work or of course when you're playing games these gamer advantage glasses are for you they offer prescription or regular lenses tons and tons of different frame options i love these things they are the most essential part of my day-to-day -day setup and like i said code immortal gets you a nice little discounted checkout link for that will be down below but gameplay changes is something that i'm especially curious about for weekend two now as of right now as i'm recording this infinity ward has not gone out and said hey we're going to be changing this that and this for weekend two if we look back to modern warfare 2019's beta something they did try out was turning on the classic minimap for a weekend to see how players liked it i so seriously hope that they do the same thing this time around for weekend two so that we are allowed to play with the classic minimap and that way they can see the player feedback they can see oh we're players playing for longer because of the classic minimap we're more players jumping on and playing consistently because of this maybe we should include this in the full game i would seriously hope something like that would happen who knows they haven't really uh communicated much outside of the just daily playlist changes so far so hopefully you know with the launch of weekend 2 infinity ward comes out and says hey we're changing a few things for gameplay uh you know maybe tuning some spawns maybe tuning the mini map like i said or some other stuff in between there if that ends up happening i'm sure we're going to be covering it here on the channel but uh hopefully they do experiment around a little bit and not just leave all the feedback for after the beta is done obviously the more we can test out things and play with things the better the launch product is going to be in theory so who knows if anything happens there you guys know i got you covered but all that being said that is essentially everything to expect for the new beta update for weekend two obviously if you have not been able to experience it yet be sure to jump on during that open time at the very least just to get a feel for it maybe it'll help you make your decision if you want to pre-order the game or not even pick it up at launch but that is going to do it for today if you guys enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it. it would be seriously appreciated as it does really help the channel grow and if you want to be a part of that channel growth like i said earlier every day i got you covered with all things going on in cod so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out